Welcome to the Cape IT Unit 1 Specimen Multiple Choice Paper. Um, this is the specimen paper that would be examinable from 2022 on under the new syllabus. So I'm going to work out all of the answers and where there are gray areas, we will go through them and try to rationalize what the question is really asking. And at the end of it all, we are going to check to see what answers they have and see if the answers that they have match up to the answers that I have. And where there are discrepancies, we'll take some time to kind of go through it and see if their answer is wrong or my answer is wrong or if there's some gray area in the question that doesn't make sense. All of that we're going to try to go into because this is supposed to help you understand the rationale of how to do the multiple choice. So enjoy the video and um, share it with somebody. One paper one. Show the following refers to the transmitter and receiving of data from voice to video across a distance via communication. What? From voice to video across a distance via communication channel. Sound like telecommunication to me. Because they have voice and video. That would help you. Yeah. I will show the following sequences. List the data storage devices in order of increasing size of the device. Increasing size. Well, the. Floppy, CD-ROM, USB flash drive, and then hard disk. That should be there. Should be A. Increasing size. So from smaller size to bigger size. Yeah, definitely floppy is the smallest. One characteristic that books traditionally have as an information source is that they usually uh, provide an in-depth examination. Definitely not current. Data was done and match each of the following with one of the questions above. Each option will be used once, more than once or not at all. The temperatures at three different locations. Oh, interesting. The temperatures at three different locations. Across the country are recorded. The temperatures recorded are an example of the temperatures themselves would be data, I guess. Because they're just numbers. I mean, it could be information because it's three different locations, but um, the numbers themselves, yeah, they are data. Susan decided to take a, take along an umbrella with her after learning the daily average temperature. This is an example of that sounds like knowledge because you got the average which is information and then you acted on the information so that's knowledge all of the following are real-time communication tools using information technology except real-time communication tools a mailing list because a mailing list is uh, basically emailing people That's essentially what you do with a mailing list. Alright, so one is the telecommunications because of voice and video. Two is floppy disk all the way up to hard disk. Um, three is in-depth examination on the topic that's a book. And four and five, the temperatures are data and the carrying the umbrella. That is knowledge. A mailing list is not in real time because a mailing list is sent out via email. Via email. The IEEE ACM sub disciplines for computing include all of the following except artificial technology. <laughs> That's kind of wrong. This yeah, this this kind of new on the syllabus. The um, that's the professional organizations. Yeah, the professional organizations. Yeah. Um, number eight, Miss Jane prepared a practice exam for her class on the personal computer and would like to make this file available on the internet for students to download. Which are the following tools should she use to make the file available? to make it available for them to download the FTP file transfer protocol 
here because you'll have to put it up on the um, on the web server. When you put it up on the web server, you are using file transfer protocol. You're uploading here. A large tanker carrying toxic waste over things on a major highway. The Office of Disaster Management needs to inform drivers and surrounding communities of the disaster. Which of the following? Which of the following? Just on. What is happening here? Why are you? That's not on. How to fix our problem here? Um. Right. Okay. Problem fixed. A large tanker carrying toxic waste. Over turns on a major highway, the Office of Disaster Management needs to inform drivers and the surrounding communities of the disaster. Ooh. Which of the following information sources is the most appropriate to use for sending out the information? They should use. Needs to inform drivers of the surrounding communities. Surrounding communities is important here. Which of the following is most appropriate for sending out the information? It's definitely not a website because they're not going to check our website. Not the newspaper because I'll be publishing next day. It's between television and social media. I am thinking. I am thinking that social media will get it out faster. So I think they'll look for social media because television, not everybody will be watching the TV at the point in time, but social media, people might be on their phones. I guess. When we get to the answers, we'll see. I think social media should be the answer. All right, number 10 refers to the following diagram. What does X represent? X represents, this is a PC encoded data signal noise decoded data. This is represents X is the transmitter. Yeah, because the arrow is going this way. So the PC sends the data this way. This is going to transmit to the yeah. So the encoder, the encoded data will be sent by a transmitter and then it'll be decoded on the other side. As one of his references, a student used a textbook that was written in 1982. Which of the following characteristics of information sources can be challenged by this author? Currency. Yep, currency. What is the name of the first electronic computer? Oh my goodness. They're wicked to have this question, boy. They're very wicked. I think it's the Enyaq. So I guess for I. <laughs> boy? Why I. <laughs> what has beat me is that, you know, the syllabus will just tell you, you know, the history of computers. And they wouldn't, like, they wouldn't tell you the first. I mean, by process of elimination, you know, it's not abacus. Abacus is like the thing with the beads. Arpanet is a network, and a calculator definitely wouldn't be the first one, because a calculator is our evolved computer, so the ENIAC is the first one. But boy, yeah, like wickedness, man. Hey, yo, we don't complain. We just have to take it. Which of the following sequences um, represents the correct timeline of invention for the following hardware technologies? Transistors was definitely the last one. No, integrated circuits is definitely the last one. Transistors made integrated circuits vacuum. So it's supposed to be vacuum tubes, transistors, and integrated circuits. Right, that's D. Fourteen. What is software engineering? Software engineering is the discipline concerned with all aspects of software production. Discipline which is connected with all aspects of software integration. Discipline concerned with all aspects of software modification. Production is the best one I could think of. Software engineering concerned with all aspects of software programming. No, definitely not that because it's more on programming. All aspects of software production. Software integration, software modification, All right? B is the closest one that I could think of. B is the best so far. 
And that's the molecular equivalent of the ASCII representation of E69. What's the ASCII representation of E? Ah, oh boy. So we have to go from E all the way back to A. So we have to go um, D, C, B, A. That was four, right? So we had to go four back. So we had to say 69, 69, take away four will give us 65. And now we have to cut with 65. Well, we really don't have to do any conversions. No. <laughs> yeah, it's just basically 65. It's literally subtraction. It's clearly subtraction. Okay. Alright. We'll take it. 65. Um, HTTP cxc.org is an example of a URL. Yep, that's correct. Which of the following components are not part of a, an information system? Reports, software procedures. Whoa! This one... need data, it's processed, and it, you do get reports on my information system, you do have data going into an information system, you have software being used, hardware and software, procedures, procedures, something kind of weird, procedures is the only one that seems like the odd one out, I will, I'll accept, but I need to show, honestly not sure, so we'll go with, we'll take that, we'll take that. Um, which of the following types of HDI is typically used by customers to order food through a drive through um, at a fast food restaurant? Menu driven, because you choose on the menu, it's a fast food restaurant, not so. I would, I would assume which of the following types of HDI is typically used by customers to order food through a drive through lane at a fast food restaurant? The human comment, actually? You just talk to somebody in the drive through lane, you know? You don't even actually touch anything. I am perturbed. Which of the following types of ACI is typically used by customers to order food through a drive through lane at a fast food restaurant? Which of the following? I thinking that they want you to put menu driven, you know? Like they they trying to set the context for menu driven, but you don't actually talk to anybody. I mean, they don't actually touch anything. We'll wait till we get to the answers for this, and then we'll fight it out. But, based on the scenario, I feel they're trying to guide it on the line of menu driven, but if I had to choose something else, it's actually probably... It's not graphical user interface because they're not actually using a mouse or keyboard, windows, icons, menus, pointers, anything like that. It could be direct because they're speaking directly to the person. Like, what is your order? But okay. We will wait. To convert a document from text into uh, coded text ensuring data security, it is best to use text to uh, encoded text as encryption. The physical layout of a network is called uh, topology. Yeah. Reports are produced monthly to show the total number of students registered per course as well as total fees pays. Yet today, totals are also provided. The type of system that will most likely provide this is a total number of students registered per year per course as well as total fees pays. Yet today, totals are also provided. The type of system that, that is a transaction processing system. Would it be a management information system? Now, management information system gives you like more trends and that kind of thing. This is just calculations. Transact, yeah, TPS would do that. 
Mm, SME College used protocol to create a network service on which it provides a set of services for its students. However, a neighboring school has made a special request to be able to log on remotely so they could have access to the services. That would make it an extra net because people get to log into the network separately. Yeah, extra net. I think, yeah, extra net is correct. Nice. Which of the following protocols forms part of a URL? HTTP. It's usually HTTP colon forward slash forward slash whatever it is. 24. A financial company has branches in five different locations throughout the country. A, at present, each location has a small internal network for the purpose of sharing resources. Management wants each location to benefit efficiently from the resources available at all other locations. Branches throughout the country. Yeah, throughout the country, that's a one for sure. Because it's a wide area network. It can be a man. If it was a city, it would be a man. But it's, it's throughout the country, so that's a one. 25. What type of user interface is commonly utilized by mobile phones? Mobile phones. Well, mobile phones in 2022. It's a um, graphical user interface. Because, yeah, it's not menu driven. If it was our old mobile phone, then yeah. Like, from pre-2005 or something like that. But we way past that time. Wow. That's a long time ago, that's almost 20 years ago. Wee. I suddenly feel old. Um, when Janice, a new computer user, installed a program and attempted to use it, she was confused because all she saw on the screen was a green bar with five evenly spaced words. Then she clicked on each of them, a list of additional words was displayed. Five evenly spaced words, that's menu driven. Additional words are displayed here yeah, because it's menus. You click on one of them and you get the menu coming out here. Yeah. Event driven and all those things. Yeah. Number 27 to access information on the internet, it would be most appropriate to use a browser. Yeah. Ron opened an email and downloaded a document. When he opened the document, the contents were illegible. The document was... Downloaded a document. It's illegible. It could be that it was corrupted, eh? you open up an email and download a document where well, we open it is encrypted I hope it's encrypted I mean I hope above all hopes that it's actually encrypted which are the following is not an example of wireless telecommunication transmission media that is not an example of wireless fiber optic cable D 30 which of the following statements about web pages are true. They are written using HTTP, that is wrong. They use HTML. Hyperlinks can connect web pages to from connect web pages to former websites. That's correct. They contain multi they can contain multi that's correct too. So two and three. We'll take C. 31. Which of the following could correctly represent read name as part of a flowchart? Read name will be a parallelogram, that's D. Because all the other shapes have their purpose in life. 32. The top level data flow diagram is called a context diagram. Thirty-three. The review stage in problem solving involves examining to see if any um, changes are required. I guess mm, involves defining a problem. Focuses on here. Yeah, yeah examining to see if changes are required. 34. Which of the following statements are true about algorithms? 
right. 34. Which of the following statements is or are true about algorithms? Algorithms are clearly defined and unambiguous. That is true. They have an infinite number of steps. No, have to be finite is a problem of a strategy. So we're going for one and three. Do we have one and three? Yes. One and three. Five. Above is a copy of a Gantt chart used by a group of students to guide them to completing a project. How many total days will it take to complete task two, three, and four? Oh gosh, they were kid by him. Task two, three, and four. Four go down to here. It will take one, two, three, four, five days in total to complete task two, three, and four. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, five days. This is a this is a new question. I, I like you know some new questions. This give you life. This feel like yes, they are capable of creating new questions. Even though this is a specimen paper and the real paper may have different questions. Item thirty six refers to the following diagram, which is that 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 that. Which of the following flowchart diagrams can be used to represent an if then else? structure that'll be two um the only answer there is two what is this if then else this can't this is a loop this one could never be why did you have two only I'm concerned yeah something wrong here let's do our answer there we go, choosing the best of the worst answers. And the only one close enough is C. But, yes, I. Hi, which of the following DFDs depicts the correct flow of data as it relates to student data being stored in an information system? Alright, so you can't do this, a student can't talk to the data store. I see this one may be correct. This one may be correct. This one, no, this one. Um, external entities can talk to an ex external entity, so let's evaluate B and C. Students and then them their name and ID, and it's or oh, this one can this one is wrong because a student is speaking to an external entity. You must have a process in between. So, our answer here is B. Number 38 refers to the following statement 4J from 20 to 15. Do right, J. What value should be printed for J? 4J from 20 to 15. So we count along 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Start at 20 and end at 15. Into which of the following paradigms are the programming language C? C is object oriented. Yeah, C is object oriented. Alright, number 40 refers to the flowchart below. This flowchart has read a number. Check to see if one is bigger than the other. If it is, yes, you take num1 and put it inside num you swap them no, you're not swapping them num2 is equal to num1 and num2 is equal to num1 it's kind of weird okay what is the following which is the correct pseudocode for the algorithm all right to so read num1 and num2 if num1 is greater than num2 yes you do num1 is equal to num2 num2 is equal to num1 print num1 num2 um, this one wrong because it's print not going to be inside there. The print ought to be after the if. Else, no, the, the, there's supposed to be an else, sorry. There's supposed to be an else. I think it's D. 
else bring them to no money yeah, yeah, yeah. the answer is d logically speaking because the, this this no here definitely symbolizes the else going going the other direction number 41 to gather information from 700 users about usefulness you definitely want to use a questionnaire because you can get to more people faster larger number of people um which line of the following algorithm illustrates the control structure of iteration iteration is looping so c is looping it's because we have the while 43 refers to the diagram below Start input x right from the flowchart above what action takes place if x is greater than 100 if x is greater than 100 then we will do yes it will print an error an error message is printed yeah that makes sense then we go on to 44 what is the final value of wow they have it this is like the fourth flowchart in this thing like they really went hard with the flowcharts, boy. Flowchart. Next flowchart. Another flowchart. It's like another one. Okay. What's the final value of A and B when A is equal to 4, B is equal to 3? What is the final value of A and B when A is equal to 4, B is equal to 3? What? Okay, so we have to trace this through. So A is 4 and B is 3. Okay, is 4 greater than 3? The answer is no, because the answer is no, we're going to go this direction. B is equal to B plus A by 2, 4 by 2. 4 by 2 is 8, 8 and 3 is 11. 11 now is going to give us the output of A as A never changed. So A is 4 and B should be 11. Hold on. A is 4. 2 fours are 8. A plus 3. Is A greater than B? Oh, shucks. The answer was yes. My bad. Let's dial that back. The answer is yes. So we go this direction because 4 is greater than 3. So A is equal to A, which is 4 plus 2 threes are 6. 6 and 4 is 10. All right, good. So A is now 10. And B never changed because B is 3. So a is 10, B is 3. Do we have that? Yes, we do. That's B. What control structures are using the data flow diagram shown? That's not a data flow diagram, this is a flow chart. It's a flow chart. There is sequence and selection. So we'll take sequence and selection as 2 and 3. Ta da! That's D. Nice. Those are the answers. Those are my answers. Now let us venture into the realm of their answers and see if there is any reason for us to be unhappy with their choices. This is unit one. No, that was computer science. Hold on. Information technology. This is unit one before one mark scheme. All right, let's go. According to them. All right, so get my questions up, my answers. We'll see what the iffy ones look like. We'll see. All right, for number one, I had D, they have D, right? For number two, A, all right, good. For number three, C, number four, uh, put A, number five, D, number six, A, seven, B. Okay, eight is A, nine is D. Ah, they put social media. Well, I guess it makes sense. Social media will spread the information faster. Like, I guess so. I think so. Um, nine. Okay, next one is ten. What does X represent? Um, that represents C. Yeah. What? Number ten, they have C. 
that's definitely a problem. 10 KBC. The encoded data coming from one PC, X transmits to Z via Y. Yeah, I can't accept that. X is definitely a transmitter. Yeah, the channel, the channel is Y. The channel is definitely Y. This is transmitter. This is channel. And this is receiver. Definitely. So, yeah. Problem is, I hope that in the real exam they don't have these questions. Like, these are the answers for the questions and they're given children. It's wrong when they choose transmitter, but I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't put it past them. But we hope for the best. 11, they have D, we have D, right? 12, they have B, we have B. So the ENIAC is the first computer. Yes, that is true. 13, they have D, which is true. Vacuum tube transistors and ICs, integrated circuits, yeah. 14 is B, 15 is C, yeah. 16 is B. Da, da, da. 17, oh, they have B. Which of the following is not part of our information system? Reports. Why would reports be a part of our information system? The system gets data, processes it using hardware and software and gives our output. One of the outputs should be a report. I'm not too sure why procedures are part of the information system. I do not agree. The components of our information system are Hardware, software, networking, and users. Data comes in, and then the way our information system works is input, process, output, storage, and feedback. Reports should be there. Procedures. Why would procedures? I don't agree. I had 17, they have B, but I, I say D is the answer. Take, take that. Take of that what you wish. Alright, the car. Like if it was a paper two question, definitely we would have write that procedures weren't there. Like because they could get reports, they could get output of reports from the data after it is processed. I think so. Alright, 18 is A. 19 they have A. 20 they have B. We're lining up there. 21 they have D. 21 they have D. Reports are produced monthly. Oh, shucks, yeah, that is my bad. My bad. The fact that they said reports are produced monthly, that's clearly not a transaction processing system. That's a management information system. Yeah, that's my bad. I I didn't pay attention there. Reports are produced monthly. That's an MIS. Okay, cool. 22, they have C, we have C, 23, they have B, we have B, 24, they have C, the 24, they have A, why would they put a man, oh no, 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 24, they have man, because it's metropolitan area network, but they say different, lo different location throughout the country, they didn't say throughout a city, like throughout the country, that's, that's a big place. Countries could be really big. You wouldn't use a metropolitan area network because a metropolitan area network is for a city or town. They said country. I disagree. I say 24 is C. My problem is, of course, as always, they might have this question in your paper and they will have the answer set as A. But that don't make sense. They clearly said country. Okay. 25, we have A. 26, B. They have B. 27, D. 28. 28, they have B. You see why? Um, you see why I, I'll be concerned? Run, open an email, and downloaded a document. When you open the document, the contents were illegible. The document was corrupted, they say. 28, they have corrupted. What's the difference between corrupted and encrypted? Like if you open up an encrypted document, it will be ineligible too. So what makes it corrupted versus encrypted? 
like I could have a document and encrypt it and it, it could have come in an email um, Gabby I'm just going back based on your comment you said that they had a small internal network at each location if there was a small internal network at each location that really, I don't think they're really going to change the fact that they're connecting across the country like the country is the distance the difference between a one and a man is distance so if there was a small internal network each small internal network will have to connect to each other but they're not connecting the same city the definition of a man will be city or town so I can't, I can't agree that this is, is man unless they think unless they think a one could only be overseas but let's say the country is Canada Canada is a big place they, they can't say they like locations all over the country of Canada and they use a man that's that's crazy that's crazy so I get your point I still can't still can't agree they asking for the they asking for the type of network that they want to have management wants each location to benefit efficiently what oh my goodness I know what you're saying what's the name of the network at each branch At present, each location has a small internal network. Ooh, okay. Dial back to 24, right? Dial back to 24. Stop. Let's look at 24. I didn't read it properly. It said, "Was the name of the the network given network at each branch?" I gone thinking about country and all kind of thing. All right, I was wrong. The name of the network given at each branch will be Alan. Wait, we'll see it. They have man. They have branches in five different locations throughout the country. At each brother, each location has a small internal network for the purpose of sharing resources. Management wants each location to benefit differently from the resources available at all other locations. What is the name given to the network at each branch? That's their question. The network at each branch will be a land because it's a small each location has a small internal network. Yeah, it will be a land. So they have it wrong still. Why would they put man instead of land? Because it's one location. Each location has a small internal network. Yep, I say land. Because each location is one internal network. Agreed. It can't be a man. Can't. You agree with that, Gabby? I guess so. I want a moment. Twenty-five. Right. What type of user interface is commonly utilized by mobile phones? Graphic. Yep. A twenty-six. B cool. Twenty-seven. D twenty-eight. They have corrupted or encrypted. I can't say, but <laughs> I really do agree with it. But I guess if you see the question in your paper. But um, but corrupted. Uh, Twenty nine D. Okay. Thirty C. Thirty one D. Yeah, thirty one is D. Thirty two B. Thirty three D. Thirty four. 35 A E How 
many total days will it take to complete task 2, 3, and 4? Am I going crazy? Task 2 starts here. Task 4 ends here. That is Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, Monday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Did I miss something? Above is a copy of a gantt chart used by students to guide them in completing a project. How many total days will it take to complete task 2, 3, and 4? They have a 4 days. The only way it could be four days is if you take the four of them and you put them up like, okay, the longest one is only four days, which is this thing here. So if you want to do all of them, you could bunch them up and put them one on top of the other. But they have how many total days will it take to complete tasks two, three, and four? I am confused. The only way it could be four is if they are they run consecutively. Not consecutively, they run concurrently. If they run concurrently, then you could get four. Because they will all fall in the four day gap. But if they're running consecutively, like how a guard chart is supposed to do, it will be five. Yeah. Anybody has any other logic? Number 36, they have C, we have C, which is kind of stupid because if then else could never be represented by a loop. That's not if then else, that's while or repeat until or something like that. Like if, then else, no, no, nowhere close, then that will be accepted. 37 is B, uh, we went through that, 38, A, right, 39, object oriented is D, right, 40, and 40 is D, yeah, 41, 41 is C, 42, B? Which of the following algorithm illustrates the construct of iteration? Iteration has to be a loop. Iteration is a loop. So you have to say while. You can't say if. If it's selection. Yeah, so 42, I would say it's wrong. I can't, I can't agree with that. 43, they have A. We have A, yeah, that's cool. And then 44. We have B, they have B, 45, we have D, they have D. Alright, cool. That's it for the Unit 1 specimen paper. Multiple choice. So there are a lot of new questions inside here, but um, we kind of rationalize all of them. There are a few that are still iffy, like I don't know if you see this in your exam. I don't know, uh, some of them I don't know exactly what to tell you to choose. But there are some that are clearly wrong. There are some that are clearly wrong and we will, we'll leave it at that. So you be the judge.